Before you remove the cam chain tensioner, make sure that the engine is at top dead center. You can verify that by looking in here. There should be the line with the T centered with that, that groove. And you want it at the correct top dead center. That's verified by all the cam lobes pointing away from the center of the engine. So you can see here, that points away, and that one right there points away. Loosen the center bolt, it's 12 millimeters, and then take out these two bolts, they are 10 millimeters. This assembly right here is the cam chain tensioner. If you need to, lightly tap on this tab, and it should pop off. After you have clean rags stuffed in the abyss of doom, next thing to do is loosen the eight uh, cam bolts. Do it in several passes, loosening each one a little bit until they're loose, and then you can unscrew them the rest of the way by hand. The way I'm going to do this is remove two of them, put them in their respective places on, on the shim sheet, and yeah. This is what the dowel looks like that is rumored to fall into the abyss of doom uh, at the most inopportune moments. So if one of them or both of them stay in place, like right there, you are good to go. If one of the dowels is stuck in the uh, cam cap, just uh, tilt the cap a little bit so that you can slip a finger in there and then pull it out. Then you can, once you get it out of the cap, just put it back in its little place. One less part to worry about. Push them down all the way so they don't jump out at you. Do the same thing with the back ones, minding the rod right there. After you get the cam caps off, and I have trouble and I was really lucky, all f uh, four dowels on the left side were stuck into the engine, so yay for me. <laughs> um, so if you have a 96 or later model, you got this chain guide. Uh, so to get it undone, there are three bolts. Two of them are down there, and one is right there. They're all eight millimeters. Loosen those and take the guide off. The two bolts on the left side of the chain guide are long and they won't easily fall out when you undo them. However, the small one on the right side is small and if you just sort of take the socket off, it will fall and you will be mad. So, once it's pretty much out, just grab a hold of it and hang on and pull it out all safe and sound. So you don't end up in a world of hurt. Uh, I get a piece of wire and I'm using a uh, shop cloth to protect the chain from the wire. Make sure it's supported up so that when you take the camshafts out, the chain doesn't fall down there into the abyss and you have to go fishing around for it. After the, after the chain is supported, I've already got one out just to see how easy it was. Um, the camshafts are just sitting in the, in the little cradles right here. So just pull the chain out of the way and lift it up and pull it out. To get the valve shim out, if the notch you can see right here is pointing away, just rotate it around so that it's easy to to get access to. Get a small flat screwdriver or something and get in there, pry it up. If the whole assembly raises, you might have to put a finger on the outside ring to break the seal. The valve shim was sitting in there like that. And then if you flip it over, there should be, handily, a number on there. And make sure that you put that in the right place. So this one came out of the right intake. So go over to your sheet, put it on the right side intake. And also document what it was. So I'm going to write uh, 265 in there somewhere. Because I need to take this sheet inside, I transferred everything to a clean piece of cloth. When you put the new valve shims in, make sure the number goes down so that the uh, cam lobes don't scrape them off. 
set it down. Get it oiled up. And it's all good. Time to reinstall the cams. To reinstall the camshafts um, with the chain supported by your wire, um, I put the front one, the exhaust one, in first. Got that so that, oh, in general, you want both arrows. There's arrows on the ins or on the outside that you can see. Uh, with the engine still at top dead center, you want both of those arrows and their tails to line up with the edge. With the chain on this side pulled taut so it doesn't go. And then with this, with the top part of the chain pulled taut, it should be level. And if that's a, if the engine's at top dead center and those are both level, all four cams are pointing outside, you've got it lined up correctly, or timed correctly. If you have the 96 or later model, now is the time to reinstall the cam chain guide. Because if you don't install it now and put the uh, cam caps on, the oil bar is going to block right down in there and you won't be able to get that bolt back in. Next thing to do is put the cam caps back on. You want to start with the uh, left side intake and exhaust. It's got the oil pipe on there. So what you have to do is lower them both down equally with the oil pipe and go from there. Once the left cam caps are installed with the oil pipe, put the bolts back in and just finger tighten them for now. After you get the right side uh, cam caps in place and finger tightened, you need to seat the camshafts by tightening these two bolts, so the forward bolt on the left intake and exhaust and the rear bolt on the left intake and exhaust. Tighten them lightly. Now do the same thing but on the right side. So the front two bolts tighten lightly and then the rear two bolts tighten lightly. Then go around and increase the torque a little bit, a little bit each time so that you eventually get up to 106 inch pounds. To reset the cam chain tensioner, which is what I have here, looks like this, it sits in the engine about like yay. Undo this bolt, and there's a spring in there, so careful not to lose it when it pops out. Right there. And then you need to push this back in. There's a little lever right here. Just to wrap it. After the cam chain tensioner is back in, uh, tighten these two first, and then put in this top one, or this further out one, the bigger one, uh, with the spring in it, and the washer. Um, put that in, you should hear a couple clicks. Um, that just That's just the plunger going in and tensioning the chain. Uh, give the engine a few cranks, slowly. Like this. Turn it over a couple times. And watch up here. Watch the cams go by. And after those pop back out, you are close to top dead center. So that's when you come back in here. Also keep an eye on the arrows in there. And I went past it. So when you go past it, keep going around counterclockwise till you get there again. It should take about two turns. After you turn the engine over slowly a couple times, and the lobes are pointed towards the outside of the engine again, get your feeler gauge and check the clearances. Make sure you have them within spec and sort of towards the loose end so that they have uh, time and energy to get tighter. If the, clearances, if the clearances check out again and you're happy with it, come down here, put these plugs back into their respective holes. If you can't figure out which goes where, 
you shouldn't be writing.